what is the difference between data mesh and data fabric, Michelle? Can you have data mesh and data fabric in the same company? You always have data mesh and data fabric within the same company. That's kind of the answer. Or you always have data fabric and the evolution is, is are you applying the data mesh approach to get your data fabric to do what it needs to do? I mean, it, it really all comes down to that data mesh simply is what's in it for me and is my data working for me? And that's always within the context of the business stakeholder. What decisions do they have to make? What engagements with customers do they have? What value are they presenting to the market? And are they achieving the outcomes that they want? And without that context of the business and how you can represent that and describe that and tell that story with data, all the data fabric investments that you make are never really going to come to fruition. So, um, you know, every business should have both. Um, but most organizations are starting from the data fabric and finding that way of rather than coming bottom up, as you talked about, how do we come top down from our, our outcomes? That's really interesting because I suppose the image shows that there's two ways, but actually they both uh, point into the same direction. Nick, is there anything you would like to add to that? I would, I would join, I would join Michelle in saying that we, we, we see a similar, a similar, a similar thing, whereas like in the public mind, uh, there seems to be a contradiction, kind of competition between data fabric and data mesh. Uh, but indeed, indeed, uh, there are some companies who are actually kind of pursuing both approaches. Uh, one is more on the philosophical and organizational in organizational manner, and the other more uh, more on the technical side and how, how do you build things and with which components.